everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's good to be in the house of the Lord just one more time to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Good morning to each and every one of you uh, that are coming in on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, we invite you not only just to come on in, but don't forget to like and to share. Like and to share. Uh, call each one of your brothers and sisters, your, your parents, your loved ones, your associates, co-workers. Like and share and let them know that uh, you want them to join you in worshiping God on today. Is that all right? Those of you that are here in person is glad is, is glad uh, to be back in the house of the Lord just one more time to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Come on, those of you that are here and even those of you in the virtual sanctuary, so we stand to our feet all over uh, the sanctuary. We stand to our feet. Go to Psalm 24. Go to Psalm 24. Psalm 24. Very uh, familiar Psalm. Psalm 24. Uh, go to Psalm 24. We're just blessed to be able to have this opportunity uh, to be able to come back into the house of the Lord. Psalm 24. Uh, we know it. The, the word of the Lord, it says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who uh, may stand in his holy place? He or she who has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his or her soul to an idol nor swore deceitfully he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his or her salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek his face. Selah. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. And who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. And if you believe that you've come for no other reason but to lift up the name of Jesus, Come on, put those Bibles down and put those hands together and give the Lift King of the glory name of Jesus the praise that is due his name. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to come into your place to lift your name on high. So, Lord, as your sons and daughters, we ask you to forgive us of our sins. Wash us and make us fit for this worship experience so that we can worship you with a pure heart and with a pure spirit, oh God. Spirit of the living God, fill us afresh. Do something new in us that have never been done before. Lord, receive our souls as a sweet-smelling Savior and fill the man of God that shall proclaim the word of God from the sacred desk with articulation of speech, with sound mind and conviction of the heart that may call someone to run and say, what must I do to be saved? So Lord, give us the strength to lift up our hands one more time. Lord, give us the strength to lift up our hands just one more time. Lord, give us the strength to give your name the glory and the honor because it is you that we live and move and have our being. So we seal this prayer now in the name which is above every name. And that is Jesus the Christ. Come on, clap those hands all over the room. Clap those hands and give the King of glory a big hand clap of praise. I feel like having church today. So the king of glory. He, 
I feel, man, listen, I don't know what that, that's the old song say. I don't know what you come to do, but I came to praise the Lord and I'm just thankful. I'm really thankful with everything that's going on in your life. Listen, I can't tell you what's going on in your life and you can't give reason for what's going on in my life. But I believe that all of us have a reason just to be thankful unto God on today. Why? Because he is good. Because he is good and because he's good, we just going to tell God and be thankful unto him on today. Come on, everybody clap those hands all over the room. Come on, clap those hands, everybody. You know it. Come on, here we go. Say, oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. He Come on, say, oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Come on, lift your voice and say, oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Come on, here we go. For he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Now come on everybody, put those hands together all over the room, come on! We ain't got all day, here we go! Oh, get that! Oh, get that! I do the Lord, for He is good! Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, he Come on, everybody. Is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Come on, one voice, good. one sound, everybody. For oh, He is worthy. Put a smile on your face and glorify the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Come on, we gotta go. Oh, He is worthy, worthy, for He is good. Yes, He is. Yes, He is worthy, worthy, for He is good. Come on, put those hands together, everybody. Come on. One more. Come on, everybody. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. We got a boy. Oh, he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is Come good. Come on, clap those hands, everybody. Come on. Come on, clap those hands, everybody.
grab your Bibles while you're standing. We're going to Matthew 11. Come on, grab your Bibles while we're standing. Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. Chapter, chapter 11, verse 2, the word of the Lord, it says, And when John had heard in prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? The word of the Lord is blessed you may have your seats in the presence of the lord god if we had to put a tag on this uh simply would be don't lose heart don't lose heart don't lose heart listen ladies and gentlemen children of the most high god um we've heard of this thing called ted talks uh and, and, and this thing that has been going on, we know they, they have possibly been canceled or moved to virtual, uh, uh, but TED Talks were very uh, prevalent and just not so long ago. And, and, and a poet goes by the name of Shane uh, Kozan. He, he, he said during his TED Talk a few years ago, I've been shot down so many times that I can't uh, and it seems like I get altitude sickness trying to stand up for myself. And what he says is, as he goes on to say during his TED Talk, standing up for yourself is so hard to do when life keeps sitting on you. Right? If, 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 if you paid attention, our, our dear good brother from Wakandian descent, he just dropped a recent album named Kendrick Lamar. He just put out a recent album, but in the album since, uh, we've all grown accustomed to it in some lyrics. He said, all your life you had to fight. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Uh, the song was called, We Gonna Be All Right. And, and, and we had to fight, and if we be honest about our simulation in these yet to be United States, we'll come to understand, maybe not particularly, but you can catch a wind of that when you were eight, it seems like that's when your cousins start calling you names. When you were 11, you first kind of sort of became aware that you were a little melanated. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Uh, at 12, you became uncertain about your identity. Maybe around 13, you were unsure as to why you was always feeling angry. 15, you felt insecure about your body. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Around, somewhere around 17, you, you had a foreboding about your future. About time you hit 23, if you ain't got there, keep on living. You got tired of having your heart broken. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Uh, round 29, if you ain't got there, keep on living. But those of you that hit 29, life seemed to be open-ended. By the time you hit 34, you're not sure if there, you have any applaudable accomplishments behind your name. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Round time you get 47, I hope to get there. But what they told me is you are already feeling old. Y'all ain't going to y'all ain't going to talk to me at 53 you've almost resigned that this is all life has to offer they tell me round 65 your body stops cooperating I can't get no help in Zion. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and all the while, the person that you come in contact with, you know, somebody that you peruse in your little environment, they have the nerve to be reading, you know, John, uh, Joel Osteen's Your Best Life Now. Y'all, y'all, okay, y'all gonna be holy on the day. Uh, I'm gonna tell Ivan, come on back and hop on the organ. We gonna ride Tonto real quick. Y'all won't talk back to the preacher. Uh, uh, yet, yet nobody, here it is, nobody understands why it has uh, become difficult to remain optimistic when all you've done is, is been around or lived what seems like to be a pessimistic existence. 
Right, y'all, y'all remember the story. I'm, I'm gonna take you back because they play it on TV one sometime, sometime on BET, maybe VH1. You see it. It's called Sanford and Son. Oh, come on, y'all act like y'all don't be up late night. Uh, you know, insomnia. You you take a nap too early. Right, and Sanford and Son to come on. Y'all know Red Fox, uh, he, he, the, the, the junkyard mogul, right? And he be on there, and he be moving around, and every time he gets some bad news, what'd he do? Right? He, he get the hold in his heart and saying, what, well, this gonna be the big one. And here it is. He's suggesting that the emotional trauma of the bad news he's just got is gonna give him, what, a heart attack. It's going to give them a heart attack. You know, uh, why? With, with all the times you and I have had unexpected stress, but, but betrayal without warning, unrequited love, y'all ain't told me, disappointment, uh, racial encounters, unwanted advances, moral failures. By this season of your life, I don't know if it's you, it might be me, uh, the Lord is talking to you, you, you should have had a heart attack. If, if, if we if we going to be honest, there, there, there should be enough scar tissue around your inner organs to make it hard for you to function without pain in your chest. All right. You know, and, and I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but but there somewhere approximately around about one hundred and twenty five thousand people in America right now on the wait list in need of a heart. If, if you want to wear out of those 125,000, uh, uh, some of their hearts has either failed them or they're in need uh, or their heart is fighting them right now. Then now, you know what I'm saying, as we understand that, we, we understand as we juxtapose this uh, to the text that we're in, that there's only four reasons why someone would need a heart transplant. Give you these four reasons and we're going to get out of here. Uh, uh, I want y'all to write these down. H help me. I, I don't have time. Come to Bible study and, and I'll teach you how to spell them. Or go back and we'll get it later and, 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 and we'll, we'll, we'll catch it. The, the first one is congenial condition. Uh, congenial condition. C-O-N-G-E-N-I-T-A-L. Congenial conditions. This is a severe heart defect that's present, here it is, at birth. Severe heart defect, for, for those of you that don't understand uh, physiological impact, maybe you'll catch this in, in, in your spirit and get a download into your spiritual import. Uh, at, here it is, as I was born into sin, Shaped in iniquity and because I wasn't born right, that's why I had to be what? Born again. Right? Uh, whatever's been bothering you all of your life doesn't have to impact you. Here it is for the rest of your life. I'll say that again. What's been bothering you the entirety of your life don't have to impact you for the rest of your life. The, the why? Because the blood is so strong that it can disrupt generational curses. That whatever you've had to live with doesn't mean here it is you have to die with it. So, 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 so God has the authority to turn around. Here it is, congenial conditions. Second reason why it is someone would be a candidate for a heart transplant is a uh, ventricular uh, arrhythmia. This is a fancy basic word. It's just a fancy word for abnormal heartbeat. That, 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 that's all that is. It's, it, the heartbeat can be controlled by medication. Uh, it, it, can't, it can't do that, right? A medication can't control your heartbeat. It doesn't shift because of an implantable defibrillator and, and there is no response even after a procedure, right? The heart doesn't what? It doesn't beat right and many of you in this room don't realize you have ventricular arrhythmia. Why? Because your heart beats for the wrong person. Here, here it is. I'm a sailor. Uh, I, I'm gonna pause and let y'all, 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 y'all digest that. You, you have an irregular heartbeat because you get excited for the wrong things. 
And in the book of wisdom, the Proverbs, it, 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 it talks about a dog, what, returning to its own vomit and your heart keeps beating for what you know can destroy you. I, all right, I ain't going to stay there. We, this ain't the, it, 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 it's the habit you can't kick. It's the relationship you can't, y'all ain't going, it's the relationship you can't end. It's the cigarette you won't put down. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. It, it, y'all ain't y'all see y'all y'all ain't got half. Of, we on the we we close almost to the west east. Y'all I'm gonna leave. We are in the Crenshaw district. It's that fifth. You won't let go. It's it's oh okay. Let me let me let me move. It's the unprescribed. Here it is. I I'll come right down your corner since you don't want to be honest. It's the unprescribed medication. You, 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 you won't stop taking, right? And, and, and whatever it is in 2022, you have to be able to bring yourself to the place to say, I got to get my heartbeat under control. Right. Why? Because I can't keep feeling like this. I, I, yeah, I'll see. All right. Y'all y'all ain't going to talk to me. We said the mass ain't going to be a muzzle. I can't keep having unsanctioned love. I can't keep having disastrous passions toward things. Y'all ain't talking. So so here it is. So God, if, if, if you would slow down my heartbeat because I don't know how to say no. Right. S saying no for some of us is a bad word. Oh, okay, okay. See, y'all always want to go to the, the LGBTQIA plus community. Y'all always want to go to the adulterers. Y'all always want to go to the fornicators. Everybody want, y'all ain't going to talk to me. Everybody want to go to the alcoholics. What about so, y'all that can't let them Doritos go? Yeah, yeah, what, what about, see, y'all ain't going to talk to me. What about y'all that got that them, them stars on that Starbucks? No, you addicted too. Everybody, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on a little closer. Yeah, you know, we always want to go for the showy stuff. What, what about y'all that be turning your nose up at folk when you see them? Right? That's not something you say. That's something you thought. I, I, I think it was, I think, Ivan, I think it was James Ball when he said it's what, it's called survivor's guilt. Right? That. That, that, that I'm not able to celebrate my success because the rest of my family is not doing well. Right? But, 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 but it's, here it is. It's not your fault. Uh, they, they, they don't give themselves permission to dream. I'm going to say that again. It, it don't, don't put nothing on you because other folk don't want to dream like you want to dream. We, we, we got to move. The third reason and we move it is, 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 is why somebody might need a, a heart transplant is severe angina. Severe uh, angina. This is the term that they use for chest pain. Right? The term they use for chest pain. And this necessitates a heart transplant because it's, it, it's caused by coronary uh, artery disease. And it is uh, uh, persistent despite the medication and despite the stents that they put in. Even after the bypass surgery, it still hurts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think all of us walk down, down this street a time or two. I don't know who it is today, uh, but, 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 but I'm talking to you. I just want a few of you to shout out, it still hurts. Right. It, it, it still hurts from y'all know the Harlem Renaissance very uh, uh, acclaimed acclaimed poem by Claude McKay. He said where I uh, we wear the mask. It still hurts. Y'all yeah. y'all might as well go and be honest that that your dad who who he he wasn't involved in your life. It still hurts. You had to be your childhood had to be disrupted. What it, it still hurts that you've not reconciled from abandonment issues. Y'all ain't talking to me. It, it still hurts that you broke up with who you thought was going to be your forever. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to keep on going. It still hurts that they actually lied to you in your face. Yeah. Right? It, it, it still hurts that the person died who kept the family all together. Yeah. Right, right. It, it, it still hurts that you were uh, un unnecessarily poorly treated uh, by somebody who didn't have to. 
Right, that, right there. It still hurts that, that you were assaulted and, and, and you have to suppress the pain and they live on like nothing happened. Y'all ain't told me. It still hurts that, that you have to deal with poverty, not because of the decisions that you made, but because of somebody else's choices. It still hurts. Uh, because now you've been sentenced to disappointment even after attempting to do right. Y'all ain't y'all. It, it still hurts that 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 you didn't get the opportunity with being overqualified, and they looked over you for somebody else because they look better than you, or that y'all ain't gonna talk to me, or they tell you you know you are overqualified. It, it, it still hurts that every time you try to open up a door and walk through what you believe it is, a door was slammed in your face. It, 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 it's hard for you to even sleep if we be honest at night but because you feel like over these last three years we just keep on going through and through like the Edgar Allan Poe's of our life. Well, you, you, you hear the heartbeat under the floorboard. There, 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 there is no rest and nobody's calling your name, but, but you just alert. Why? Because, because why? We're, we're just such on a, a, a panic that, look, well, look what's going to break next? The fourth reason why it is a person would need a heart transplant is, is because of post-op complications. Post-op complications. What, what you saying, Pastor? So after the surgery, there's been a malfunction, yeah. right? They're, they're here. They're, we we we've seen this even in not just heart transplant, but other surgeries. What? There, an affection arises. Something went wrong. I, well, here it is. After the process, something went wrong. After I went through, something went wrong. I, I got sick because. Who handled me? Hands weren't clean. Right, right. Uh, I, 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 I'm not right uh, when I subjugated myself to wanting better. So even after the process, can 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 I go further? Let let let's bring it down your street. After I didn't prayed about it. After I didn't went. Y'all ain't gonna talk. After I didn't went to the altar. After I went to therapy. After y'all ain't gonna talk, after I took the medication, after I took myself or, or a group of us went on a trip, after I spent that money, y'all ain't gonna talk to me, after the blind date, after the binge, I still need a heart. And, 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 and nobody understands I did everything here it is I did everything they told me to do and I'm still hurt yeah, yeah. Huh. I forgave them still hurt yeah. 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 Mo moved out of town still hurt left that job still hurt y'all 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 can't can't yeah, yeah. can't get uh, can, can speak to the person that did me dirty still hurt Got here, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Got somebody new, still hurt. Change my car, change my hair, change my wardrobe, still hurt. You're right. You 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 come to church after church, shout in church, cry at the altar, snot at your seat, still hurt. Yes. Still still hurt. You wake up in the morning, you're reading your devotionals, you get up with a proverb, go to bed with a psalms, you know, lighting candles and incense and everything. Some of y'all mess around with that darn sage mess. Got the darn Kyrie Irving syndrome, just sage and everything. Y'all in, all in the room playing meditation music, you got water falling up, y'all. I just need to be in my quiet place. <laughs> still hurt. And you still hurt. And, and, I, and, and I, here it is. This is just what I realized. Listen, I may be preaching to myself. I, I, I realized that somewhat like the character looking in the Wizard of Oz, y'all remember whether you want the Wizard of Oz or you want the Wiz. Either one, whichever one, I need a heart. 
at the end of the day, either we going to ease on down the road. Y'all. They, they hear why. Why? Because David said, Deacon Shaw, this is what he said. David said, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit uh, 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 in, in, in me. But here's, your, here, here's what y'all get the question to me and questioning God. But when did he say it? He said, created me a, a, a clean heart after he slept with Bathsheba. Hey, we, we, this, 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 right, this, y'all, y'all ain't gonna like this. This is even uh, for you, y'all. Don't, don't look straight ahead. This ain't a time to touch a neighbor. Just, they just, you know, they there. It's just, uh, pe- pe- here it is. People can sleep with you with no heart. Yeah. Y'all don't let the virtual saints. I'm glad y'all came to church today because I ain't getting no help from. I can feel the virtual saints where they logging off right. <laughs> They locking off right now. Pe- people can have sexual experiences with you and have no heart. That's right. That's right. I ain't gonna even tell you to elbow your neighbor. Forget your neighbor. Tell you, we, we, you know, this, this you and God right now. You know, somewhere around. Let me give y'all some statistics so we can move. Around 2021, they 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 say about 35,000 people got new hearts. Right, about 50% of these yet to be United States of America have registered to be an organ donor, eyes and tissue donors. But, but still, there's about 140,000 people approximately who are still on the waiting list. Every day, 10 people are added to the waiting list. 22 people are going to die today waiting for an organ that won't come. 6,000 people died in 2022 waiting on the transplant list. 4,000 people are in dire, desperate need of a transplant of some sort right now. And the amazing thing is that they can't take the heart until somebody else's is declared brain dead. All right, why, 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 why is that important? You have to understand because even then they can't take it if it doesn't match or it's not the right size. Because just because you have a donor, the donor's organ may not fit you. And isn't it amazing that you keep giving people your heart that want you dead? We got to move, DJ. I feel glory in it. You, You keep giving your heart to people who don't value your life. So, so, so they'll do everything. What? Here it is to kill you. What, what, what they doing, Pastor? I, I ain't dead, but they stressing you out. They bringing you all kind of. They antagonizing you. They want to argue with you all the darn time. They want to add stuff to your plate. You know, y'all ain't talking to me. They want to pull the knife out of your back that they found in your drawer. And then when they pull it out, then they gonna stab you with said knife in your back. Not even while you sleep, while you awake. Yeah. Mess around and you be trending all on IG, on Twitter. You didn't went viral. But why? Because ain't nobody keeping the cold around here. And here it is. God, what we say in this year is you can't allow what you have to say. You can't allow yourself and you need the help of God to keep you from giving your heart out. Why? And, and, and you can't keep giving your heart out to people who don't beat for you. I, I'll say that again. Quit giving your heart to folk and they don't beat for you. Why, why you say that? Because we, we got to get to the text. I got to go. Y'all got brunch plans. Matthew chapter 11. We, 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 we meet this particular patient uh, uh, and he's in critical condition and, and, and the patient goes by John. This is, this is John the Baptist. He's in critical condition because he's in jail for the gospel's sake. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say that again. He's in critical condition for the gospel's sake. Some of y'all in critical condition, and it, okay, we gonna move. He didn't rob nobody. He didn't rape nobody. He didn't steal from so, nobody. He didn't put no emotional distress on nobody. And, and he's incarcerated. Here it is. He's incarcerated for inspiring people. Now, trip this. He's in jail, and Jesus is becoming famous. Right. And, and, and let's 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 really bring it close to home. This Jesus is cousin. When, when you run this, 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 Jesus, this John the Baptist, this Jesus cousin. So now I'm in jail and y'all out here popping bottles. 
Ah, y'all ain't good. Right, I, he, he's in jail promoting Jesus, and Jesus is free. Yeah, right. He, 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 call, he calls himself a voice in the wilderness. And, and, and now he's the voice in the wilderness. And, 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 and Jesus now got about 5,000 followers and about 12 groupies. Right? And, and, and John is, is in jail and nobody has put nothing on his books. He ain't got nothing. He can't go to the commissary and get nothing. He, he, he ain't got no visits. He ain't got no money. Ain't nobody accepting his collect. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. Ain't nobody accepting his collect calls. Ain't none of y'all wrote John a letter. And, and, and he's the one that was out there putting his neck on the line uh, for, for, for who's free uh, for, 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 to get us free. And now he's stuck. Right? So, so, so who is it in this room who, who's trapped? While the person you in love with is free. Wow. I got to move. I can't, I can't stay. You, you can't even understand how it is, how, how, how you've backed yourself into this corner. And, and, all, and all the while, they're just doing their thing. And don't, don't you think it's about time you need to reevaluate everything? Yeah. Now, don't go out of here telling me y'all don't get home and say we need to talk. That's not what I'm saying. Don't 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 blame this on me. This ain't me. How, how did you might have asked yourself? How did the tables turn? And and I'm being punished for loving you. How, how in this? How am I in this position for 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 trying to be there for you? How y'all ain't okay? Y'all don't want to be. How is my credit messed up for trying to help you? How have I had to downsize my life for trying to help you? Yeah. How many years did I waste, here it is, trying to help you? Yeah. What, here y'all don't want to be honest, what opportunities did you walk away from trying to help them? Yeah. Here it is. What did I not tell you about because I knew you wouldn't celebrate me? Yeah. What, what blessings did I not take because I knew it was too much for you to handle? Right now, what what part of your gift are you suppressing because you know of somebody else that will get insecure if you walk in your purpose? God is it? What what opportunity did I walk away from, or did I not walk into, and now I'm in a stuck place? And and, and now I'm struggling, and you out here free. And, and I'm trying to put together the pieces of my life and put everything back in check. And you ain't going to even check on a brother. You ain't going to check on a sister. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. I'm trying to start a new page in my life and start over. And I got some real questions. And I asked John, the jailer, can, can, can you give me a, a sheet of paper? I'm, I'm about to get out of here. Can you give me a sheet of paper? I need to send Jesus a letter. And, 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 he, and he sends uh, John in jail. Y'all got to see it. He, he, he sends Jesus uh, this letter and he says, Jesus, I just need to know one thing. Are you the one? Uh, because I, I couldn't have gone through all of this for nothing. I put my whole life, here it is, I put my whole life on the line for you, Jesus. Are, are you the one or should we be looking for what? Another. Uh, yes, yes. Some of you that's gathered uh, here, here in, the, in person knows you in a virtual sanctuary and you be honest with yourself. Your faith and, and, and it's, it's, starting to, it's starting to dwindle and you may be on the remnants of your belief and, and you're saying to God, God, I need you to make just one thing clear to me uh, because I've gone through some lean seasons uh, over my life. It's been, if y'all ain't going to, you might as well be real. It's been kind of difficult uh, these last couple of seasons and I'm, I'm beginning to reevaluate. Here it is. Everything connected to my life. And I don't want to waste another year. We about half, we more than halfway through. I don't want to waste this year as I feel like I've wasted some other years. All I need to know, God, God, are you sure you the one? And if you not, let me down easy. He says, are you the one? Or should we look for another? Uh, can, can, can I be honest for those of y'all that's going to talk back to me real quick? I promise you, uh, put your, uh, your seats in the upright position and your, and your tray tables up. We getting ready to land because I'm, here it is. I'm losing heart. 
Right? The honesty is I'm losing heart. I, I ain't got time. We ain't got time to be playing church no more. Uh, we ain't got time for no phony believers. It, 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 you know, I, I, I want to know, does it work to pray? Why? Why? Because right now I'm losing heart. I got to put ex extra effort into pray. I, I got to put extra effort to have faith and, and to be expecting. Like, yeah, what, 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 what you want us to do, Reb? Because don't come up here, Reb. This this y'all. I'm, I'm just reading through your mind's eye, Reb. I don't want to hear none of them C words. I, I ain't got time for that today. I don't want to hear it's your season. I don't want to hear it's your time. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. I don't want to hear it's about to don't turn to your neighbor. We ain't about to turn around and jump flips. We off that. I didn't heard that in 2012, 2012. 24, uh, 14, 15, 16, we was out of church and everybody said it's going to be all right. Rev, it ain't all right. I ain't got time to play no more church. L listen, God, are you the one? Or should we be looking for somebody else? Again, because I'm losing heart. I don't feel like turning to my neighbor. Y'all minds, I don't feel like shouting. I just want to, y'all, hey, I don't want to give nobody a high five. I don't even want to give myself a high five. I, I, I don't, I don't want to sow no seed. You better not ask for offering. I'm going to give it, but I don't want to. Y'all, see, this is the honesty you got to be able to have with God. I, I just need to get an answer from God. Did, 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 listen, you, we get the question there. Did the plans you have for me, are they still in effect? The prophecy that came over my life some years ago, is it still going to come to pass? Am I, am I always going to struggle like this or is there really a bright side somewhere? I, I'm, you, let's be honest. I'm trying not to, and you are probably too. You, we trying not to become angry and bitter, but God gonna have to tell me something. Are you the one? I, I need somebody to tell me something, y'all. I, I would, y'all. I, I got to get. It's why because it's hard for me to see the benefit. Right. Uh. I, 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 here it is. I, I ain't supposed to tithe and be broke. <laughs> All right. It's time to go. I, I'm, not I'm not supposed to be a loving person and lonely. That, that, y'all. I'm not always supposed to be nice and be treated like sugar honey iced tea. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. I, God, God got to show me something. I, 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 I said I wasn't gonna say nothing, but here it is. But I can't keep quiet. God! Is, is it you or are we supposed to be looking for somebody else? And, and, and that, 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 that was the letter that came across from John. John. John sent that letter from jail and he said, Jesus, are you the one or should we be looking for somebody else? And Jesus, here's the interesting thing, Ivan, because we got to go. Uh, it's a little turbulent in here. We land in the plane now. Jesus didn't even flinch. He, he said, go tell John. That the blind see. Y'all, we got to go now. I hope y'all got that. Good night, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to you. Go tell John now that the lame walk. Go, go tell John that the leopards are being cleansed. Go, 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 go deliver this message unto John. Tell John that the death here. Yeah, tell John that the dead are being raised. And here it is. Tell John the last thing that the good news is being proclaimed. Tell John just because it ain't happening for you don't mean it ain't happening. Uh, oh, oh, I got to get out of here. Sometimes I, I, I got to let what happened to and you got to see what's happening in somebody else's life uh, to see or not whether you will celebrate for somebody else. Yeah, it always ain't going to happen for you, but can you raise your level and celebrate God when your neighbor gets blessed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some of y'all have to, you have to look so introspectively and you forgot to look around. Look around. What, what, what would you look at your neighbor now? I know you don't want to, but tell somebody across the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell your neighbor that whatever was discouraging you, uh, don't worry about it. Don't let it discourage you. Just call on me. Why? Because I now, I understand that I'm a living testimony. 
I, I understand now, Deacon Dow, that he may not come when I want him to come. Scratch that. Y'all might as well high five yourself now and say he ain't never came when I wanted him to come. But he's always, I said he's always, he's always on time. And if you know that your God that you serve has always been on time, won't you stand on your feet now and say, God, it's no secret what you can do, what he's done for others. I'm here to encourage you that he will, he will do it for you. Let me encourage somebody right now. Be not dismayed, whatever. I'm telling you again, be not dismayed whatever but hide why pastor because God will I said God will quit looking around at your neighbor because your neighbor is going to fail you your husband is going to come up short your wife ain't going to do what you ask her to do your children gonna keep on getting on your nerves your friends may not answer the phone but be not dismayed because God will I said God will he will take care of you is there anybody like me that's been going through a rough year but pastor if you give me that mic I mess around and tell the church my whole story what would your church story be what would your testimony be if I handed you the mic what would you say I think I call on David David would say come here David let me help you out huh? David would say I've never seen I've never seen the righteous the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread he would tell you wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall I said he shall strengthen thine heart and for those of you that's like me he had to put an addendum in there and say wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait I say on the Lord wait I say on the Lord why Isaiah because they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up on the on wings like eagles and they shall walk and not get weary while you're waiting on God you just can't stand still you might as well shout because you know the battle the battle is over stand still and see the salvation of the Lord people's independent it ain't time to lose heart now we're right at the brink I know our bills are high but don't lose heart I know we stressed out but don't lose heart I know our family our family I got to get out of here I know our family it's going crazy but look at yourself in your spiritual eye and say don't lose heart don't faint don't give up now because every now and then the Lord has sent a message to tell you to hold on and I come to serve notice to you right now dry those tears shake yourself and stand firm in God because in just a little while it's going to be alright if you can just wait through this midnight hour your joy is right on the other side I know it's dark but wait on the Lord I know you tired but wait on the Lord I know they left you but wait on the Lord I know you got an attitude but wait on the Lord 
because when he come he gonna show out he already said victory shall be mine now I ain't gotta wait till the battle is over so now let the redeem of the Lord say so if you know you on the heart transplant list show God show God some signs and say the Lord move me up the list here with a closed mouth don't get fed so let everything let everything let everything that have breath pray Let everything that have pray, pray. I know we're in need of a heart. I know we in need of a heart. You all, you all remember the movie John Q. Denzel was willing to risk his life and the life of everybody in there just to save his son. He was willing to go to the ends of the earth. Oh, God is saying today, I, yeah, I know you probably fell somewhere within those four heart conditions. But he sent me as the messenger of the Lord today to say, hey, don't give up. Don't give up now. You, you've come too far. He knows. the issues that all of us has. He knows that you got post-op complications. He, 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 y'all ain't gonna talk. He knows that you have congenial conditions, something that came to you that you didn't even know. It was, it was, it was in your gene pool. He knows that you have ventricular arrhythmia. He, he knows that something is abnormal. He, he knows that you have severe angina. You got pain all around you. Exterior and interior. He, he, he knows. He, he, he knows. And even with him knowing that, he says, listen, here's what he says. Cast your burdens on me. Why? Because I care for you. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me. Because my yoke, what, is easy and my burden is light. But ladies and gentlemen, you have to make the decision to come boldly before the throne of grace so that here it is, you can obtain mercy in your time of need. If you don't continue to develop your personal relationship with Jesus Christ, it's just like what happens when you go to the doctor. They going, you might, don't, what they tell us, don't, don't wait. Go get your yearly checkups. Go get this, go get that. Why? Because sometimes you can cut some stuff off and you can catch some stuff early. Yeah. We don't want to bring things to God. When it's in stage four, stage five, stage six. You know you got an issue. I didn't tell you to tell the pastor. I told you to talk to God. Right? I didn't tell you to share it with the deacon. 
take it what? Take it to the Lord in prayer so that he can what? Strengthen all of our hearts. Come on, give God a big hand clap of praise. Come on, you do better than that. Give God a big hand clap of praise. We got to go. We have to go. We have to go. There may be somebody here that just needs uh, to get into the right relationship with Jesus Christ. And if that's you, all you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. And the Bible says you shall what? Be saved. Confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead. And you shall be saved. It's a personal confession that you have to make. Mama can't make it for you. Daddy can't make it for you. Your brother, your sister can't do it. That has to be something that you have to decide to do. Because I have all these heart conditions, I need what? The heart fixer. And that is only in the person and personality of Jesus Christ. So if that be you, you can even do it now. We're not going to make you... Uh, come outside yourself and try to embarrass anybody. You can do it right there in your seat, right in your living room. All you got to do is tell the Lord, Lord, I'm a sinner and I need to be saved. Come into what? My life and save me. Come on, let's put our hands together. Give God a big hand clap of praise for those individuals that's doing it even now. They're doing it now. Listen, keep on clapping those hands because it's offering time. It's offering time. Those of you, uh, those of you that are here in person, you're here in person. Uh, we 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 know our various ways to give. Those of you that are in uh, the virtual sanctuary, you'll see now uh, the prompts that are coming up that are coming up on your screen, and it allows you uh, to be able to give there. You have uh, PayPal, Givelify, Zelle, and even you can mail. Uh, you can mail your offering in 5856 West. Uh, Boulevard 943 uh, in Los Angeles, California. Listen, I didn't turn my phone off. I, I got to turn it back on uh, so I can make sure I give my offering uh, via Zelle. If you want to do that, if you have your phone, just in case you didn't bring your checkbook, pindchurch at gmail.com. Church at gmail.com. That's the Zelle handle, and you'll be able to give uh, via, via Zell. Amen. Yes. Why? Because God loves a cheerful giver. We've been talking about this since the message, uh, since things have got kind of conscrewed about, uh, what, uh, we've given, you heard this argument about tithing. What should we tithe? Should we not tithe? And all this, what rigmarole, uh, that's been going on, uh, throughout the land the last months. And we've been talking about it, that tithing is really the floor what we give unto God, the 10% that we give unto God, what he said in Malachi is really the floor. Our 10% is the floor because every now and then God may push us to be sacrificial in our giving. Why? Because Jesus came along and he did not abolish the law. He came to fulfill the law. And he said, if you give, it shall be given what unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men and or women give into your bosom. So I would submit to you uh, that you're not only always giving and talking about money when God is talking about giving. We don't want that to be a misnomer that every time somebody brings up give, we want to go uh, straight to the money. See, they always ask about money. They ask about money. No, no, no. Read your Bible. Uh, because Jesus was the one, uh, and he allowed uh, himself to say, I believe it was him. If it was not him, it was one of the men that he allowed to write the gospel uh, that says, what well, you're supposed to give your time, your talent, and then your treasure. Right? Your treasure uh, take, comes in and brings a weird. Why? Because where your heart is, right, your treasure will then, then follow. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to check nobody's, you know, bank statements. Is, is your heart at Starbucks? Y'all, y'all ain't talking to me. Is, 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 is your heart, you know, is your heart on Amazon? 
listen, you know, we, they did just have like the little Amazon special earlier. Yeah, you know, some of y'all, your heart might have been at Nordstrom's. Ain't they having a year end set? Y'all, you didn't think I knew, huh? Yeah, you know, if, if we run your bank statement, you know, it, 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 is your heart, is your heart there? <laughs> because it's where the Bible says, where, where your heart is, your treasure is, 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 is soon to follow. Uh, and we want to make sure that for all the benefits that God has bestowed upon us, the things that we uh, really take for granted, we want to make sure that we can honor God uh, with the things that he has given us. It'll take you nothing to give back 10% of your time. It, it, it costs us nothing to give back 10% of your talent. It, it, we, we should be happy to give God back 10% of our treasure. Amen. God, we thank you for the gifts and the giver. Uh, let it be used for the furtherance of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, we pray. Everybody say amen. amen. And thank God. Amen. And thank God. Come on from all over the room uh, and just come on, give your offering. Those of you that are in the virtual sanctuary, don't log off. Continue to give. If you've given on, on, your, on your mobile device, we bless and thank God for you already. And I, I, I'm very grateful and honored uh, that you have given your offering unto the Lord. Giving your offering unto the Lord. Listen, listen, as you all are coming, even as you all see uh, the, the prompts that are on your screen now in the virtual sanctuary, uh, we just want to, I want to announce again that uh, a, a great time is upon us. Uh, A2, I'm hoping uh, that that pops put the, put, put this up on there. Do you have the, uh, the, uh, the inner beauty? You have it? All right, go ahead and show it to them in the virtual sanctuary. Coming the next uh, couple of weeks, we'll, we'll be passing it out around the church. But this is uh, our second year, or even our second or third year, uh, of being the host of the inner beauty pageant that L.A. County uh, DCFS office puts on. Uh, come on, let's give God a big hand clap of praise uh, for that. This is something that we came in joint venture with, with uh, LA County DCFS, and they, uh, um, they, they go and put this beauty pageant on along with, with workshops and, and, and good things like that. It's open to girls uh, ages 13 to 21. So if any, anybody in here uh, knows some young ladies ages 13 to 21, all are welcome, amen, all uh, are welcome. And they'll, at the end of it on August 27th, we'll have a wonderful pageant uh, that I need each and every, I, what, what today is August 31st. Uh, so if you will, July, I'm sorry, I'm already in August. Uh, that's, that's Gabe's birthday, that's why I clicked on July 31st. So we have more than a month uh, to get ourselves together. I, I humbly would ask each and every one of you uh, to put on your calendar uh, just to come out and take out your time for two hours and let's support these young ladies, right? Uh, let's support them. The workshops, they're learning self-defense and they're learning domestic violence uh, classes. They're learning financial literacy. Uh, they're taking self-esteem classes, body image classes, makeup and hair tutorials, all these things. They're learning modern and ballet dances. I was here yesterday and they was doing yoga. It was a wonderful thing. Uh, that, that these young ladies are doing, and it's open to any young lady uh, that you know as well, ages 13 to 21. They'll, they'll be coming out. Uh, so every Saturday leading up to uh, August the 27th, uh, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., right? 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. every Saturday. If you know some young ladies that you know you would like them to be a part, have them here August 6th. 13th and the 20th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. right over in Greg's Hall. Uh, they will be getting all of these services to them and then we want to come out and celebrate them and let these young... Why? Because uh, our daughters, nieces, right? Could, they could be anywhere. They could be anywhere and we want to make sure that and let them know that we see them. And, and I would like the church to come out on that day and support in great number let them know in great number. The actual pageant is on the 27th, August the 27th. Uh, that's when the pageant is taking place. Uh, so we want to be able to, I'd like you to put that in your calendar so we can come out and celebrate uh, these young ladies. 
uh, in everything that they are aspiring to do in their life. Amen. Uh, can we do that? Can we support those young ladies? Come on, give God a big hand clap of praise uh, for them. We'll be hearing, hearing that announcement uh, in the weeks and in the days to come. Come on, let us stand. We're getting ready to go home. It's been uh, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, day in the Lord. Don't forget, meet me here uh, this coming Tuesday and every Tuesday at 1 p.m. It's been a wonderful engagement uh, at Bible study, and I encourage each and every one of you uh, to come out. Just because you can look at it on the virtual sanctuary from the confines of your home, it's nothing. Uh, let's, let's do what the Word of God says and not forsake the assembling of ourselves together uh, as, as, as some is. We don't want uh, to fall in that some is category. Uh, let, let's come and let's all learn together because it's, it's really fun uh, to learn of God together. Amen. Let me pray God's blessing over each and every one of you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. May he bless you in the city. May he bless you in the field. May he give you favor uh, to come out and to go. And now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy to the only wise God be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. Let everyone say amen. amen. And thank God. Listen, go in peace and have a wonderful remainder of your morning. I'll see everyone on Tuesday at 